I've always believed the best wines were made on the edge, both for the cultural edge and in the cellar. I've worked with a lot of the great winemakers from around the world, and some of them are very sort of old world and, and traditionalist in their approach. And then I've also worked for some sort of maverick chemists who have some fantastic ideas on yeasts and different things. And pulling all these experiences and creating my own style, um, we really push everything to the limit to try and get complexity. The only factor that is guiding me is quality, 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 and we will not compromise that for anything. This is one of the busiest times of year. It's springtime, as you can see, the legs are still white, and this is where all the pruning starts to happen. Now we've got to get rid of all of last year's wood because if we don't, we're going to have a jungle in here. We're going to have way too many grapes. They won't ripen and we'll have huge disease issues. So this is, this is a big, big push right now. When you're aiming for greatness, it's those small cuts at the end that make the big difference. A lot of what we do is manual and by hand. Having some mechanized pieces is fantastic if used correctly, but ultimately the attention to detail comes from a hands-on approach. I travel the world looking at soils, looking at um, weather patterns and temperatures, and all with the vision of producing wines that resemble as close to the Chardonnays and Pinots from Burgundy. And the two regions that allow me to do it are Niagara and then obviously Prince Edward County. Good morning, Johannes. It's just on my way down to Niagara. I'm just meeting with Phil to check on our Pinot uh, Chardonnay sites and our Riesling sites. I should be um, down there about two, three hours with them and then uh, they'll see 334. <laughs> We're standing in, in Niagara now. Norm's Winery is in Prince Edward County and yet he arrives here at seven in the morning to look at the vineyard with me. There are not a lot of winemakers that are that devoted that will go to those lengths to see that we're working towards the same goal. So it's, it's really neat working with the guy. So you really want, you want as much airflow as possible. Your starting point of your potential quality is in the vineyard. And this is why I do the driving that I do. Spending time with your farmers and growers is critical. This vine would be a classic example. Phil is, uh, you know, he's the guardian keeper down here. Um, he gives me a really good idea where things are happening viticulturally, and we have great communication and we seem to work well together. And we picked a, a range of different barrels, and this is gonna give us a, a decent snapshot of where we're sitting today. This process, what we've gone through this morning, is absolutely critical to our quality control. A lot of that is, is alchemy, a lot of it is it's purely actually taste. One of the beauties of working with two regions is that we can take the best of one region and the best of another region and finding the right mix and then putting them back to barrel for another six months has allowed us to create this fantastic line. Our volunteers are a huge part of our, our program they come and help us and get the grapes off on the right day. And in reciprocation, we give them a wonderful lunch. Uh, normally a beautiful roasted suckling pig, uh, organic vegetables from our garden, uh, some beautiful roasted chickens that are done in our pizza oven. Today, what people come away with is that winemaking is a tremendous amount of work. And they sing a small element of our year cycle. And they really appreciate the hard work and the attention to detail that we've put towards everything. But this is truly the spirit of what we do. We, we managed to get all the, the energy of all these fantastic people that come and help us, and all this translates into, into the wine and into the bottle that we have. And without them, I don't think this would be possible. I encourage you to come and see what we do, um, enjoy our culture, because this is a huge part of understanding of what goes into the bottle of wine, the care, the attention, and why it actually tastes the way it does. And if you come here, it will give you this great opportunity to absorb the culture and enjoy the Norman Hardy experience. Cheers. Cheers to you.